Hey, what's going on everyone? Um, back to Minecraft today. It's a little bit on the later side, and that was very, very close. Let's not do that. Completely forgot about where I even left off last time. But yeah, Distant Horizons, the specific mod. Uh, someone left a comment about using that. I did try before, and it didn't work. So I'm going to try it again. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. For now, we're just going to run it without that. And uh, someone else left another comment as well, which is to try out a different mod. Um, so I will be testing that out as well. So stay tuned. We'll um, cover that. And um, if you haven't noticed, wow, this actually looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Damn it. But yeah, boredom over betrayal. What do I mean by this? So, oh my days, diamonds. Nice. So, it's always the betrayal that I'm talking about in this situation, and how could it possibly affect your life, or at least impact your life? So, this could be a, a person, a situation, or even a habit. It could even be the content you consume, for all I know. Any kind of situation that you know deep down inside is betraying you. And so you should probably choose the more boring route, which is to let go of those certain situations or certain habits that you formed or whatever it may be in this specific case, right? And so well, I keep thinking that these blue things are diamonds. They're just not... kind of want to go down there, but that is... It's a little bit too risky right now. But I'd say choose Warden because for one, it kind of teaches you more about yourself. Because when you kind of let go of these sort of habits or situations, then you have a lot more time. A lot more time to process certain things and a lot more time to basically just be alone in a sense. And so you basically, it teaches you more about yourself. You start to become more self-aware. And uh, self-awareness is very key. Um, in life um, for example if you are someone that believes in God a lot of times damn this dog is amazing so a lot of times when you're alone um, God usually speaks to you or divine presence speaks to you but usually happens when you're all alone and so when you kind of escape these sort of situations you start to gain more knowledge of yourself and what you kind of need to do and how you can sort of thrive moving forward from better knowing yourself. And this is like underground paradise. Wow. And this is what Minecraft, they do right. They do this kind of stuff right. As slow as these updates might be to kind of get these things out, they just look so cool. Well, yeah. Um, and also, I guess your kind of brain chemicals, your neurotransmitters and you know, your dopamine and all that stuff, I guess, kind of balances out because now you're just you're not being fried from like all of the sort of constant draining stimulation of the drama that's associated with these things and also the feelings of you know staying in these sort of places and so you kind of give yourself a reset from that which is like amazing because now you can you're starting to put yourself even on a physical level to become better or at least outgrow the situation that you're in and that's the beauty of life, you get to outgrow certain things and you have the choice of doing that. The choice of staying and, you know, being more miserable in certain habits. Or being free and exploring yourself more. You choose. I kind of want to get rid of these mushrooms because I don't think I would need them. But then again, I'm pretty sure they're pretty rare to find, right? So in the meantime, we'll get rid of three oak logs because we don't really need that. Unless we should make sticks, actually. There we go. Nice. Three for one more, whatever this stuff is. Can we eat this? Glowberries. I'm not sure what these are useful for. And uh, yeah, my dog is... What can I feed it right now? I have no idea. Glowberries, they're not bad. I guess it's pretty cool having like a source of food early in the downstairs part of the world. And being boring, especially in certain times where you kind of need to in order to learn certain lessons. It's not a bad thing. Initially it might be because you're not used to it, right? But afterwards you start to realise how nice it can be because you're not really relying on anything or anyone. Is that a mine down there? Wait, is that stone? I don't really want to pressure it because there's two creepers over there and a skeleton. Oh, it is. It's a mine shaft. 
This is proving to be quite the um, venture. Look at these guys. Three of them. Was that two? I told them. Uh, I did not think they would make that. No, white wolf. Oh, there was no need, man. There was literally no need for him to die. We didn't even come up with a name for it. Dead. At this point, these diamonds, they just don't mean anything. Just want my wolf back. But yeah, if you are if you are someone that's going through a bit of a situation, or again, certain habits that that you don't exactly know. That was close. That you kind of want to escape. And um, sometimes you might, you know, fall back in certain, certain conditions. Keep going, man. Don't give up. Um, keep your willpower up. It's the only thing that's going to keep you going. But yeah, a little bit of a shorter one today. We're going to carry on the next one just because it is hella late right now. And I got us to go to bed. So, on that note, appreciate you guys for watching and um, stay blessed.